Hey friends, there are some surprising differences between these two webcam apps. We are doing a head-to-head -head comparison of two of the best webcam apps for your phone. There's a lot of apps out there for iPhone and Android, but we're focusing on two of the most popular applications for this head-to-head. -head. We will compare the pro version of Epoch Cam Web Camera by Elgato and Camo Web Cam by Reincubate. First, we'll cover the similarities, then I'll show you the differences, and then we're gonna get into the special capabilities of each application. If you're new here, I'm Matt, and this channel is the video marketing destination for coaches, creators, and consultants. A quick note that I'm using an iPhone 12 Pro Max. The applications both work for PC and Mac. And for Android users, there is a Camo Studio beta available at the time of this video. The Epoch Cam application I've read online is being rebuilt from the ground up. That post was in February of 2021. So hopefully we'll see a release on the Play Store sometime soon. All right, grab your cup of coffee or tea and chill with me. Before we dig into similarities, I'm gonna show you a few accessories that might come in really handy for you if you're a teacher, a live streamer, a virtual presenter, or a creator. Now you might wanna do a top-down shot with these applications. So one of these little whiteboards that come with a couple of dry erase mark markers might come in really handy for you. You're also gonna probably wanna consider an extra long USB or lightning cable for your phone because you might wanna set up your device as a behind the scenes shot. There's a variety of things you can do. This is a 10 foot cable. I definitely recommend getting a longer cable for something like this. Next, if you're gonna be using it as a web camera, you may want a stand that has a flexible arm on it and this ball head, which you can put on here and then you can mount your phone with the phone clip on top of this, giving you a portable solution where you can set up your phone pretty much anywhere. All right, so what's similar about these two applications? First of all, let's take a shot at some of the web camera manufacturers like Logitech and a number of other ones. There's tons of options out there. There's some really popular ones and both of these apps blow all the web cameras on the market, out of the water. And this is maybe a warning to Logitech and other manufacturers that you guys gotta kinda step your game up here because people are really interested in using their phones as web cameras. There's lots of people searching for this stuff online, which hence why I'm making this video. So look out web cameras. Next up, both applications are updated on a regular basis. Now this is important for someone who's considering a paid option. You wanna know that those applications are supported and that there's gonna be updates coming out with new features and bug fixes. From what I've seen, both developers value privacy and security, which is good for everyone. You'll be able to use both of them in a variety of applications such as Zoom, Discord, Teams, and OBS. You'll find a four plus star rating for Epoch Cam and Camo. Autofocus, manual focus, and zoom controls for both applications. Artificial background blur, free and paid options for both applications, which unlock additional features. For the sake of this video, we're focused on the pro version so you can see if it's worth it for you. Both apps can be used in portrait and landscape. So what are the differences? We got Epoch Cam Pro loaded up on my phone here, and the big differentiator is that this application can only be controlled from a mobile device, whether that's your phone or your tablet. Next we have some filters built in and the features that we can see here are chroma key. This is only available for Epoch Cam. Now to be honest with you I haven't found these sort of features to work very well. It looks like they've borrowed it from Snapchat because there's this tiny little Snapchat logo. Another differentiator for this application is the price at the time of this video. It's below $10. The Epoch Cam application also has extremely simple controls, almost too simple. More on that in a moment. So here are the controls you can do. You can flip the screen horizontally. We have zoom features up at the top right. We can flip around to the front facing camera. There's mic controls at the bottom right corner. We have a flash option if you need to use the light. I always recommend using external lights instead. We can open up the settings menu on the left hand side. For quality, we have fair, good, and best. Now one thing I did read in the reviews of people who were talking about reliability and in my personal experience, I've had a number of issues with this application to a point where I actually had to uninstall it and reinstall it in order to get it connected again. So fair warning, there may be some connectivity issues depending on what version of the app that you use when you watch this video. Some of the other basic controls with Epoch Cam is you can tap the screen once to lock the focus in 
on the point you tap, you can double tap for continuous focus, and you can pinch to zoom. So what are the differences with Camo Pro? You're gonna be controlling it from your computer, whether that's a PC or Mac, you won't be controlling it from your phone. Camo has more advanced controls for both free and paid versions. Now you won't find any green screen options at the time of this video, but there are a number of different presets that you can select from. Another major differentiator is the autofocus performance. Check this out. Camel also has completely different price ranges with monthly subscriptions all the way up to a lifetime payment of $80, potentially more depending on when you watch this video. Which leads us to, drum roll please, special capabilities. Epoch Cam has both wired and wireless capabilities. But check it out, you can use your phone, you can walk around, it's got a wireless signal. Now I haven't tested how reliable this is, but it's pretty cool for live streamers. I think you might actually really appreciate this. So who's gonna appreciate the Epoch Cam app? I'm gonna say teachers, live streamers, virtual presenters, or anybody who wants to avoid wasting money on a web camera, possibly you already did and you want to get a great upgrade without having to pay a ton of money. Special capabilities of Camo Studio include superior imaging quality and controls. You can see here with the desktop application for PC or Mac, you can control a number of things. There is a portrait mode here that you can set up and you can test this out. And it, honestly, it looks like it works pretty good in comparison to the other one. We're able to control which lenses we select from here. We can actually dial in the resolution settings, controls for focus. We can do rotation and we can actually zoom in with the application here and move it around, which is really cool because you have more customization options for framing your image. Now, while there may not be any wireless capabilities yet, the desktop app is hands down its biggest differentiator and special capability. There's powerful control settings here from ISO, exposure, white balance, a number of other things. You can do all kinds of things with this application. Even in 720p resolution, this application seems to produce a superior image quality. The focus performance is unbelievably awesome. It works very quickly and I'm always in focus and never had any focus issues. So who's gonna love this app? Same as before, but it gets a special hat tip from the creators community because of its superior image quality and controls from your computer. If you were to ask me if this application is worth a subscription since it's so much more expensive than the Epoch Cam application, I would tell you yes. If you're a creator, there is also a 15% off discount code in the comments below. Now I did my best to provide my unbiased opinion, but because the controls are so much better, the image quality and the focus capabilities, they really put a lot of time, effort and energy into this application. It's updated a little bit more frequently. And honestly, this is the one that I would actually recommend you get both applications. If you want the wireless features of Epoch Cam, it's a really small investment for eight bucks for a lifetime access. But if you're a creator and you want to be able to create content with your phone at your computer, or you literally just want to use this app as a webcam, this app is by far one of the best ones in the world. If you'd like to learn more about capturing a top-down shot, check out this video up here. When you hit that red button, it's more than just a free subscription. You're joining a community, and I really appreciate everyone who's done that. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here on the channel in a future video.